Hey, it's Gary Contessa for Gary Contessa TV. Let's talk about New York breads and what the advantage is, what the positive is. Why, why a New York bread? A couple reasons. First of all, New York breads are, have morphed over time into some amazing racehorses. When I first came around the track, you bought a New York bread, it was by a stallion you never had heard of, out of a mare who never did anything, and you bought it inexpensively, and the, the best part of a New York bread was you got to run them against other bad new, bad horses, and by attrition, they all won. They'd win by attrition. So you, if you bought a really bad New York bread, he'd run sixth, then fifth, then fourth, then third, then second, and eventually he'd win. And and you'd make your money back because they were rock solid horses, and they were really um, well raised and well mannered, and they were great horses to bring to the races because owners loved them because they almost always got a check, almost always had a chance, and you didn't lose money with a New York bread. But New York breads have morphed over the last few years, especially when we change the breed back rules and we get Kentucky breads into a rock solid racehorse. And, but one thing never changed. When we were breeding cheaper, less expensive horses to New York stallions, and today when we're breeding really top quality New York breads to New York stallions and out of state stallions, the one thing that never changed is the way we raise New York breads. And in New York, horses are allowed to be horses. They get turned out, they, they're outside all day long. Most of the farms in New York have run-in sheds and they have stalls, but the horses aren't pulled out of the field when it starts snowing and pulled out of the field when it starts raining. They get to spend, they get free choice. They get to spend time out in the field. They get to be rained on and, and ice stormed on and extreme heat on. And they get strong, strong systems. And they get stronger on the inside. And they get very, they become strong animals. They become less susceptible to getting sick. And they become just a stronger breed of horses because they face the elements as opposed to being hot housed and being led inside every time the co it got cloudy and started to rain and whatnot. People that raise New York breads raise a strong athlete who has faced a lot of adversity growing up and been able to find his way outside and that's my kind of horse i go to a sale and i see a new york bread and his hair might be a little longer or he might have some cuts and scabs and scars and a shorter tail from getting his tail chewed off by other horses but i know that underneath all of that i got a rock solid racehorse that's been raised right and he's always going to deliver for me and again you still get to run against New York breads in restricted races, but today's New York bread is as good as any open company horse as well. I mean, we, let's face it, we've had Funny Side, uh, Sam Rat, uh, Uncle Cy. We've had great, and believe me, it's the ones that I'm not thinking of that, that probably deserve the most mention. We have had great New York breads over the last few years, and they just keep getting better and better and better. And they beat up on open company horses, is upstart running on the Derby Trail this year. We they just keep beating up better horses. They show up in Canada, California, New York, Florida, Kentucky, and they compete with the best. But what I really like about New York breads is the return on investment is strong. You can lead an owner, you can take a new owner that's never owned a horse, bring him to a New York bread, and he's not going to be an unhappy owner. He's going to have an opportunity. If that horse isn't the greatest horse in the world, you have Finger Lakes running restricted races for New York bread, so you have a chance to get out. If he's a decent New York bread, he's going to make 100, 200,000 just by winning his allowance conditions. So, tremendous opportunity. Let's go over this. You buy a New York bread, tremendous opportunity to make money. Strong, well raised horse, raised by super farms in the state of New York. Horses that ha are strong have an incredibly strong constitution, strong system, well-made horses, and people who really care. 
and it all makes for a great racehorse. So going with the New York bread, I don't see how you could ever go wrong. And I have brought so many new owners into the game. And the, the way to keep an owner is to make them happy. And I have been able to make a lot of owners happy by racing New York breads.